Okay, everyone, here's the thing. I recorded a bunch of footage of me making a pasta salad yesterday, but it's too many pieces and I don't want to edit it together. And so I probably won't. <laughs> but needless to say, it was a good pasta salad and we took it up into the mountains for a little picnic, which we're going to talk about that. And I'd just rather tell you about my trip up into Rocky yesterday with Steve. So while we do that, I'm going to be making what you got, Paschetti, spaghetti. <laughs> and, um, which is how I always make spaghetti. I don't know if there is truly a recipe for spaghetti. It's pretty much what you got. That's what I figure anyway. And it is 2.30 in the afternoon, so I should be editing my video for my Silver Paw Studio YouTube channel, but I wanted this to simmer. Like, people say it's supposed to simmer for a long time and that makes it taste better, but I'm thinking it's just like cook it and put it in the fridge and the next day it tastes better. So I don't know, but I'm gonna try the simmery thing. Again, not a cooking. This is not how to cook. I just wanna catch you up on how my day went, my weekend went. Um, and so we're gonna do that while, while I do this. And so this cutting board needs to be washed off and the counter. And so let's, um, I'm gonna do that, okay? All right. Meow. All right, ah, it's washed off. Now, I call this what you got sketty because it's just what I have. So in the freezer, we had some sausage. So that's what I'm putting in it. You can make this with no meat, of course. It could just be like spaghetti with lots of veggies, which is awesome too. So what else do we have? Um, okay, obviously onion. I think I have a part of an onion and garlic and garlic nom, 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 nom. we love our garlics what do we got in the fridge here's some, you know what somewhere here we go all right here what happened is we went to the grocery store on sunday for some of this and i had a yellow pepper and i cut into it we bought it Sunday morning. I cut into it Sunday, two hours later, and it was all moldy inside. It was so gross. So then I cut into this green one, it was fine. So that's what went in the pasta salad yesterday. And then this has <laughs> yesterday's onion, so I used some of these containers. So I'll just be using that onion, I think. And what else? Ooh, mushrooms were a big reason why I'm making spaghetti. So we have a lot of mushrooms, num num. And I wasn't sure how good these were, so. I mean, we'll see. Okay, mushrooms. Ooh, 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 What else we got? Celery. I love celery in it. I know Chris loves it, but that's okay. So we got mushrooms, we got celery, we got pepper, we have onions, we have garlic. What else? We have our sausage. And let's see. Okay, so sometimes I do start with spaghetti sauce in a can, a jar. I don't, I don't know if I want to this time. Although it has peppers and onions, so it would go with it really good. What I like to do is just form a jar of tomatoes. So just like tomato sauce and cut up tomatoes. And I don't know, here's some more sauce. And then we'll just kind of decide <laughs> what, all, what we all want in here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then we have all the little spices. And so I've got a cheater Italian mix, but I think I'll go in the garden and get some oregano and from the garden. And oh, one of the things I like to put in uh, what you got sketty is red pepper flakes. Yeah. So we'll do that too. What else? Okay. I'm over in the cabinet. I don't know. That's probably good. Oh, salt and pepper and garlic powder. All right. Yeah. So of course we got all this stuff too. All right. I think what I'm gonna do is actually start cooking the meat while I cuddle this up and we chit chat. And I know I actually hate cooking shows that show you cutting up onions and things. But this is not a cooking show. This is a catch up with Monique show. Ha ha ha. So let's uh, get this pan heated up in my funky stove. And I'm not gonna go through the whole like cooking the pasta piece. We're just gonna cook the sauce and and chit chat. Oh, but I want to show you the pasta. It is, I think I'm going to use this one. Look at this. 
This is from the Virtual Farmer's Market, Artichoke Rosemary Linguini from Pastamore. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? Okay, here, you want a close up? Doesn't that look amazing? Yes, yes it does. Okay, that's the pasta I'm gonna use for this. Okay, pan on the funky stove is heating up. I'll cook that sausage. Uh, let me, let me see here. Okay, Bruno clearly has a lot to say, my burb. <laughs> So let's just get out the compost bin like now because come on, like all of these little seeds from here just go bonk right in here. So we took this great trip up to Rocky Mountain National Park. Whoa, big choppy chop for Father's Day yesterday. So it's June of 2020, it's still pandemic time, and we had to get what's called a timed entry ticket, which only costs two extra dollars, but what they're doing is they're uh, controlling the number of people who go into the park. So each section of time has three to 500 tickets. I can't remember, like maybe 350 tickets. So the eight o'clock time people, uh, there's only so many tickets so those morning ones fill up really quick as you can imagine but we like to go to rocky in the evening to see evening colors and evening activity of animals that kind of thing so we were totally fine with getting a three o'clock ticket which worked out really great uh, so i timed it door to door so we left the driveway it was exactly two o'clock our ticket was for three o'clock we pulled up to the fall river road um, entry gate at exactly three o'clock. However, we would have been there sooner, except, oh, let me put this in here. Huh, cliffhanger, everybody. Okay, just a second. Also, um, tech note, I was trying to use my AirPods as microphones and it doesn't work. I wondered why it was, it was sounding like I was walking away and stuff. Yeah, totally doesn't work. How stupid is that? Ugh. Yes, very annoying. You're right. So you're just going to deal with the phone uh, microphone. And I'm just over here. Hi. Putting. A, I just don't feel like moving my camera. It's all propped up on a chair funky. Urgh. Okay. All the meat is going into the pan. Okay. Bam. Boop, boop, boop. So that's just going to cook a little bit while we chit chat. So anyway... We would have been to the Ranger Gate 10 minutes earlier, maybe 15, but um, Wanderlust Trail up by the Stanley Hotel was closed for some kind of construction. Oh my gosh. And going through town is always a big pain. It's kind of like, picture a little Washington coast town. Uh, that's kind of what I picture when I go through Estes Park. And just all these like t-shirt shops and ice cream stores and pulled taffy and pizza stores. But it was crawling with people. I couldn't believe it. I thought Sunday afternoon it would kind of clear out. Typically, people are going home on a Sunday afternoon. Oh no, lots and lots and lots of people. Woo! Anyway, so uh, we get the time ticket and you could, um, a day pass to Rocky is $25. But at the gate, you can apply that $25 to another pass, an annual pass, and Steve qualifies for the senior pass. So we got him a senior interagency lifetime pass for a total of $80. And as long as I'm on the car, and he's in the car with me, like I'm in the car, whoever's in the car, we get into like any federal park for the rest of his life on this pass. <laughs> what? For $80, he actually told the person at the gate, uh, you're undercharging for this, for sure. Oh my gosh. So, uh, that was pretty cool. So now we can go to Rocky anytime ever. <laughs> you know, awesome. And the time ticket worked out great. Probably because it was the three o'clock, the afternoon one, the line wasn't too long. And we did see them turn someone away. You can't get those at the kiosk. You have to get them ahead of time online. And none of the park ranger stations are open. So the visitor centers are all closed. So you have to get this done online. You don't have to print it, it can be on your phone. That's fine, but it still has to be done ahead of time. So I feel bad for the people 
that don't ever look into that. Like, clearly, if you're li if you don't know that there's changes due to the pandemic, you're living under a freaking rock. <laughs> As our um, what did our governor say? He says we might be done with COVID, but it's not done with us. <laughs> True story, everybody. It is not done with us. So, ugh. You know, they they figured it out for now though. But what was really cool is there's no guarantee of anything you're ever going to see in the park, like as far as wildlife, but we saw some awesome wildlife. Uh, so we saw, as soon as we went in, there was one bighorn by Sheep Lakes. Kind of cliche, I know, but they're there. <laughs> so there was one up on, on the hillside, on like the north side, not where the drive, the what is it, the parking lot is. So not there, but up on the hill. So that was cool. Oh, here's a tip for anyone who doesn't understand Rocky Mountain National Park and any of the big parks. Rocky, I think, is the third most visited national park in the U.S. The best way to find wildlife is to look for other cars. <laughs> so if there's cars pulled over in a spot and people are kind of looking in the right in one direction, there's wildlife there. That's how you find wildlife in Rocky. Uh-oh, I better put some some oil in here, maybe. Huh. Okay. It's sticking a little bit, everyone. Ah, we can't have that. Okay. So anyway, as soon as we get into the park, we see Bighorn. Very cool. And we have that super long lens now. So I had the 200, we, we traded around. So there was the 70 to 200 millimeter and the uh, 200 to 600. That's a beast. But you can hand hold it. It's super fast. Oh my gosh. Which is great because I hate tripods so much. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we get in there and we go through there. What else did we do? Oh, we, every time, every time I drop something. Oh my gosh, where is it? Okay. Okay, I haven't peeled it yet. It's fine. So we wanted to get over to the West Slope because I'd seen so many people talk about moose. So we hightailed it over to the West Slope. We tried not to... To stop too much on this side and we hadn't seen um, elk yet we were so surprised like as soon as it was out of my mouth gosh I haven't seen any elk I didn't even finish the sentence and there they were <laughs> at the uh, at a campground that a lot of the campgrounds are completely closed right now uh, so that was super weird to see all these very empty campgrounds no tents no no nothing um, just the elk <laughs> the elk in there Okay, but I haven't got to the best part of my story, okay? Now there's more, there's more, okay? Hold on, I need to stir. I know this video is getting long. That's what happens. Chitty chat, chitty chat. Um, so, oh, my garlic press is in the wash. Let's see, what happened next? Okay, we're going over to the west slope. Okay, on the way, I believe it was on the way there, I looked over, there's some, there's a few of these, not very many, tiny little pullouts with a couple of picnic tables. You could fit, I don't know, three cars in there, four. And I did a double take. I thought I saw a dog sitting there. And then I thought, that wasn't a dog. And I thought, oh, it could be a coyote or it could have been a fox. It looked kind of big to be a fox. I said, Steve, turn around, turn around right now to go back, hurry wherever you can turn around of course it's mountain roads and so we couldn't turn around for several more minutes we had to find a spot two couple miles up the road and turn around by the time we got back there was a van there and the van started pulling away sure as shit it was a fox everybody a fox the most hysterical thing though hold on hold on i gotta stir i gotta stir okay the most hysterical thing though is I rolled down the window and got my camera out there. The only pictures I got of this fox were when it was about to walk away. It was done, like it was not sitting pretty anymore. But there was picnic benches and picnic tables, those big sturdy ones. I kid you not, that fox on its way out of that campsite, that picnic site, stopped, lifted its leg on the bench, and then went on its merry way. Not even kidding, and I have a picture of it. If you follow my personal page on Facebook, I posted it today. And this is the caption. 
If the first part of 2020 has felt like a fox peed on your picnic, this picture is for you. <laughs> yep. 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 That. I went there. Yeah. And then we enjoyed that pasta salad, which I managed to to save after making the the dressing completely gross. I don't know what was up with that, but I did not like the recipe that I found. I saved, I saved it. I made a new thing. And um, we had a nice picnic lunch at Grand Lake. And then we came back, and on our way back, we saw people looking off into a field. Remember? Probably saw something. And yep, there was a moose way out there. So I have a picture of it, kind of way back in the trees, but it's dark over there, and it, uh, it was far, and it was just eating, you know? Moose, rah, 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 eat, like me. Uh, so, anyway, that was, that was the story of that. Let me stir. Boop, 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 boop. And so, there you go. Now you're all caught up. I hope everyone had a great Father's Day. Hope everyone had a nice first day of the summer. It's pretty great here. I'm gonna choppity chop up the rest of this off camera and then I'll show you it all go simmering away in the pot. Okay, good to see you. And what should we use today? Let's use garlic. Mm, in a second, you're gonna see it all simmering so nicely. Ooh. Ah, all right, recap. We got sausage, we have onions, garlic, celery, green bell pepper, mushrooms. That's what we got. And I'm just gonna put in diced tomatoes, just the whole thing, I don't care. And tomato sauce. So here's the thing I was thinking about while I was uh, sauteing this. <laughs> There's this song that all the kids sang a few years ago called, What Did the Fox Say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was spitting for my foray into Rocky. The fun fact, that's the first time I'd ever seen a fox in Rocky. I'd seen him down here, but never up in the park. So I consider that uh, pretty rare. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to put in the Italian seasoning, the garlic powder, salt and pepper, and red pepper flakes. And that's it. And then um, probably some more sauce. I have one more jar of sauce and it's just gonna cook. All right. Good to see you all. And I don't know what I'm gonna show you next. You just never know. Okay. See you later, friends and fam. Bye. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. <gasps> nom, 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 nom.